You think I killed her? The lady was bad news. So that makes it okay I killed her. Did you? That, of course, is Harrison Ford in the 1990 movie, Presumed Innocent. It's based on the best-selling novel by author Scott Turow. The book is one of his 10 bestsellers, and they've been translated into more than 40 different languages. They sold more than 30 million copies worldwide. Today, he's out with his first new book in four years. It's called Testimony, about a prosecutor who moves abroad to investigate a refugee camp's disappearance during the Bosnian War. Scott Turow, we welcome you back to the table. Hey, Gail, thanks. Now, nice to be here with you. They're describing you. after four years. We're glad to have you back, sir. Testimony, a tour de force of collapsing perceptions. It took you four years because you were doing a lot of research on this one. I, I did a lot of research. I went to Europe three times. I spent a week in The Hague, which is a wonderful city, mm -hmm. and uh, a different kind of week in Bosnia, uh, which is also um, a remarkable place. What did you want to tell on this one? Um, so you know, I, I, turns. I just I wanted to go someplace a little different, uh, and I thought that, frankly, the International Criminal Court is not something that's well understood mm -hmm. in the United States, and therefore made, I thought, an interesting setting for a legal thriller. Where'd you get the idea from? I was <laughs> at a I was at a reception in uh, in The Hague in Holland, which is the capital or one of the capitals, at the American Ambassador's house, and there was a group of uh, American lawyers who worked in The Hague and they were all around me going, you know, you've got to write a book about this place. This place is amazing. The backstories and the back channels and the cases themselves. You know, and usually when people are saying that to you, it's like how, you know, Antilles' antique vase disappeared. <laughs> yes. um, this, this, I thought, wow, that's an interesting idea and I always held on to it. So who did you cre create as your main character? The main character is a guy named Bill Tenboom, a uh, midlife crisis, although for reasons that he doesn't quite understand, has given up his marriage, his job, finally the, his country, and gone off to The Hague to investigate the disappearance of these 400 Roma, the gypsies. No, but listen to what you say about him. Being a successful middle-aged man suddenly single is like being the water boy for the football team who finds a magic genius turned him into the prom king. Yes, he's, a, you know, the Bill's, there's another side to Bill's life, of course, and since he's a single male and uh, he discovers that he's, uh, he has all the magical powers that he wished he had when he was 17. Yeah. Yeah, the Washington Don't Post all... calls it a, a tour de force of the collapsing perceptions. Yeah. So... Um, no, nobody is. Late crisis. Nobody is quite who they seem to be. Yeah. And uh, you know, Bill, of course, is led astray in several different ways, uh, both by witnesses and in his personal life. And uh, and yet, it's it's like a set of you know Chinese boxes. Things keep opening outward. And it, it twists and turns, but it all makes sense. So sometimes writers do something where you didn't see it coming, we go, where is that coming out of left field? That is not what you do in this book, as complicated and layered as it is. Is that important? It's very, I mean, one of the things I was proud of when I finished the book was that I felt exactly what you're saying, that it really does all come together. And it has uh, both a unified story and a unified meaning. Are you still practicing law? I do a little bit. I'm a partner in a big international firm called Denton's, and uh, I always have a case or two going, so... Uh, when I get back from the book tour, I'll dig into something new. Yeah, they Are don't you look a trial at you. Lawyer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. They don't look at you and go, "Oh, off your book tour, decide to come to work today, Mr. Yeah. Thoreau." Well, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's you know, it's a deal that's worked for everybody since yeah. 1990, and so they let me write and practice law, and uh, you know, and I still really enjoy being a lawyer. You do. When you get outside of your comfort zone, oh. where are you? What do you do? Are we talking about as a lawyer or as a writer? Both. And a man. Well, not less, <laughs> not, you know, as, a, as a writer and as a man, less as a lawyer. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've renewed my life about uh, 10 years ago, and uh, it's what been a wonderful mean? adventure. Yeah, well, you know, I had, I had a marriage that ended and, uh, you know, put me on a, a new course. And uh, for me, it's been tonic. It's been revitalizing. I'm re remarried now. My Mrs. Turow is in the green Mrs. room. Mrs. Turow is in the green She's room. She's lovely. And, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, uh, there's a lot of pain involved in that for everybody, certainly my kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a great relationship now with my ex. But, but it sounds like that might have fed who Bill is. 
It, it certainly fed who Bill. It really we can't, did. We well, cannot. We cannot it, walk away. Yeah, from there are a lot of references in that, the book about divorce. Very well done. Pleasure to have you here again. Oh, Nora, thanks. It's great to Thank be here. Thank you so thanks. much. Thanks, guys. And testimony is on sale now.